Hello and welcome to Doctor's Orders here at the Chrissy B Show. I'm Dr. Rob Hicks. Today we're going to be talking about female genital mutilation or FGM. Now FGM is where the female genitals are deliberately injured, cut or changed. But there's no medical reason for doing this. There's no medical benefit. In fact, there are no health benefits of doing this sort of procedure at all. But what there are, are lots of health problems that can arise because of female genital mutilation. Problems for girls, young women and older women. It affects their physical health, it affects their mental health. And in life when women try to become sexually active, it can detrimentally affect their sexual health as well. If you think about the physical problems that can arise as a result of FGM, chronic and long-standing and long-term pain is a very, very common problem. Problems with passing urine, either because it becomes difficult to pass urine or because of urinary incontinence are also a possible complication. Bleeding, the development of cysts, the development of abscesses, are also possible, as are recurrent infections, which if not treated correctly, can affect a woman's infertility. And then there are the mental health and emotional problems that can arise as a consequence of a woman having been put through female genital mutilation. A greater risk of depression, anxiety, stress, unpleasant flashbacks, problems with sleep, for example, nightmares, insomnia, all these potential problems that can arise affecting mental well-being. And then there are the sexual health problems. It may be incredibly difficult for a woman to have sex because it's very, very uncomfortable and painful. Her libido, her desire for sex may be significantly reduced. It may be a consequence that if she has sex, she doesn't achieve the physical pleasure of sex because of the results of the scarring of the procedure. If she should want to have a baby, it may be difficult for her to fall pregnant. Should she fall pregnant, female genital mutilation often causes problems with the delivery of a child, with childbirth. So as you can see, there are physical health problems, mental health problems, and sexual health problems that arise as a consequence of FGM. And just to reiterate, female genital mutilation has no medical reason and has no health benefits. It only has risks to a girl, a young woman, and an older woman's health. Now the important thing to remember and be aware of is that there are some possible solutions to help women get past the trauma of FGM and to move on with their lives. The most important thing of course is if you have experience of this is to not to be frightened to ask for medical help. Counselling and therapy is very, very important to help manage and overcome the mental health problems that have arisen. And for some women, it's possible to have surgery to widen the entrance to the vagina. Women, for example, who find sex impossible or indeed very, very painful. And indeed for those women who've been left with difficulties passing urine because of the scarring and the trauma associated with the, with the surgery. So remember those positive facts that there's help available and that it's important to seek help.